the vaccination of piglets around weaning in general terms three four weeks of age is performed in presence of certain level of maternal derived immunity so this means that we are not allowing the window for natural infection without existing immunity because it's or the immunity coming from the south or it's the immunity provided by the vaccine no. Return of investment, looking at this subclinical PCV2, I think also being a practitioner in my previous life, it's very difficult to uh, divide what's actually caused by pure stables, what's caused by poor management, what's caused by subclinical PCV2, I mean, poor performance parameters. How can I find return of investment? How can I conclude whether or not this farm is to vaccinate or not? Well, First of all, if you have had a previous life, it, it's excellent because you had at least two lives. So this is the first case I know in my life that is uh, the second one. But congratulations for that part. For the second part that you say, I believe that it's it's not that easy because the only way by which you could compare, and of course this could be made at scientific level, is to make a side-by-side -side comparisons in the same settings, in the same farm, in the same group of animals, uh, half vaccinated, half non-vaccinated. This has been performed already, and we know that the overall gain of vaccinating in a farm could add you, uh, let's say, between 10 and 40 grams per day in average daily weight gain. So, but of course, the, if the question mark is what happened in my particular farm, what happened in there, this is almost impossible to know. Uh, one must rely on what the existing results previously demonstrating such such effects. I must confess, however that not all farms are equal, not all farms have the same uh, pathogen background, not all the farms have the same uh, management practices, so there's a, a, system, a significant variation. What a number of integrators did at the very starting of PCV2 vaccination many years ago already was to compare what had happened to date with what had happened from now onwards in which I start vaccinating. Scientifically, there are many, uh, let's say, drawbacks in this side-by-side uh, -side comparison because it's compared retrospectively with the proactive. But anyway, when you are comparing thousands and thousands and thousands of animals before and thousands and thousands and thousands of animals afterwards, this means something. And, and just for your information, an integrator here in Spain that, uh, well, he has more than 100,000 sows 